Hey folks, Sylvius here, back on some Galactic Civ. Uh, I was going to, if you clicked on the little uh, last video, you'll see my Cernikov run. You only need to watch it for the first 20 seconds to know what I'm talking about. But uh, you'll see how I have the overlay on the side, and then I make it like fade out and go full screen. Uh, I was going to do that for Galactic Civ this time, but... It makes putting the uh, annotations up a little bit more of a hassle, and also I'd have to like, you know, move everything over and like set it up now. And I was kind of a little bit too lazy to do that right now, so I just did it. I apologize, but these kind of things happen sometimes. All right, let's see, what do we got going on here? Uh, what is the population here? Wonder if I should put another one in? Maybe go factory, hospital, farm. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. Idle ship, what is this? We'll just have him uh, wait a turn. What about this guy? Beam Starbase. That's a military Starbase, it looks like. What's it look like? It looks tiny. That's what it looks like. Command. Well, here, I'm going to pull him out of their territory. Just because I don't want to... I don't want to provoke them. Last time they declared war on me, and then they randomly just canceled that declaration of war for no good reason, as far as I can tell. But, I don't really trust them, so I am going to keep pumping more warships over into their territory. Or into their general vicinity, we'll go with. Um, He gets to wait. Maddie. Despite the equipment and protocols set up to protect against the massive radiation on this planet, mutations are a fact of life for those who live here. The worst and most threatening mutations are dealt with surgically, but cosmetic disfiguration are often left as is, and the con has simply learned to live with that. But the sight of these mutations are pretty upsetting for anybody who visits from off-world, and trade is beginning to suffer. What are your orders? <laughs> Leave the conus be. The rest of our civilization will simply have to learn to deal with it. Benevolent. Approval. Local trade revenue. Begin encouraging the colonists to be more discreet in their dress and demeanor while dealing with people from off-world. This won't make anyone happy, but at least will minimize the downside for everyone. This is disgusting, and these freaks will have to learn how to get along with the civilized world. Ban anyone with visible mutations from having an off-world facing role. Begin encouraging the development of hood and cloak economic sector. I... don't like any of these. I think we're going to go with the pragmatic one. I don't really know what local trade revenue will do. And 20 local approval sounds pretty bad. Bonus to military, what's that? Bonus to research. Well, at least I have a lot of terraforming options, that's for sure. What's this? Population and wealth. Xeno farm, Xeno farm, Xeno farm. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Cancel. Cancel. I like that sound. Yeah. Sorry, I went and all started doing those, and then I forgot all about the fact that I need to build factories first, because otherwise it'll take me forever to build anything. All right. Idle ship. What about over here? Alright, this one doesn't need anything. Let's see, hold on. Let's kind of consider where is a spot I could throw one. I 
I need more of that resource. Is the one I'm lacking the most. Approval relic? Research relic. Economic relic. That one's already claimed, it looks like. Not really seeing a lot of uh, good spots. Man, I'm kind of not seeing a lot of good spots. Economic starbase there. I mean, I don't really need more of this red material. I've got, I think, plenty of the red one. I think we can safely say. Ugh. Where's he going, and why? Alright, good enough. Command. Uh, construct Starbase. Okay. Trade offer. Upon this rare flower can be used to refine Promotion gas. Ship range. They want industrial specialization. Sure. Because usually keeping trade routes open and things like that are uh, a good way to keep, you know, everybody happy. All right, there we go. That was a pretty long first turn, I have to say. Woo! In order to better assist all the races of the galaxy, the UP elects a chair being that will lead the United Planets for the next four sessions, whose duty is to choose which proposals should be uh, presented. The winning race is appointed the UP chair for the duration. Um... Which one am I? Can I not vote for myself? No, I can't vote for myself. Where am I, though? Whatever, I'll just vote for myself and see what happens. <laughs> and who do we have? The Altarian Resistance, the Eerlian Empire, Lantern, the Iconian Refuge, the Terran Alliance, and the Exus Empire. The Terrans voted for the Altarians. The Altarians voted for the Altarians. The Iconians voted for the Terrans. The Lanterns voted for themselves. The whoever these people are voted for the Altarians. Everybody voted for the Altarians. Nobody voted for me. I guess that's, to be fair, kind of uh, expected since... I don't really have good relations with anybody. Two continents of this planet are joined by a massive ice bridge, which is beginning to collapse. A number of primitive tribes still make their home on this bridge and are in danger of dying within the next year if they are not relocated. The ice bridge is remote, however, and this won't come cheaply. What are your orders? We can't let sentient life perish and do nothing to prevent it. Divert all necessary resources to assist the natives. Find... <laughs> all necessary resources to assist the natives find safety. Minus 5 manufacturing, 20 approval. We've had a hard enough time keeping our own people alive here, and interfering with primitive species always leads to complications. It's time we put these primitives to work for us. Rescue as many as we can and relocate them to safety camps where they can assist with various activities until their debt is paid. That one. And what's this? Tourism and influence. And what's this? Manufacturing. Well, this planet is now most assuredly a manufacturing... Uh, Boom, planet. Uh. Doo doo. Ah, oh, I can, like, terraform in all these nice spots, too. Uh. 
Oh, that's interesting. Terraforming can go in, like, better spots, it looks like. I guess that makes sense, but still. That's interesting to know. Good to know, too. Alright, and I want this factory to be, uh, moved up to there. There we go. Idle ship. Crap, not the wormhole. The wormhole was not the one I wanted him to go into first. Idle colony. Uh, terraform? What are these, research centers? Metal ship. Ship graveyard, that means a space battle with the stupid pirates that we're gonna quick battle our way through. Dagger, M8. Get up there. Idle ship. Dagger M8 goes over there. Turn! At this rate, I'm thinking I might need to cut down my uh, videos to 10 turns. I wish the uh, Iconians would stop just blatantly violating my territorial integrity. We're now so good at living on snowball worlds that many colonists go days at a time without using mittens. Something which would normally have been considered wildly reckless even a few years ago. Well. Well then. Social manufacturing. Military manufacturing. Competitive manufacturing. I'm not really sure which one of that, what that means. Focused research. Research manufacturing cost, research economics. Intensive farming. Food distribution. Habitat improvement. Let's go with habitat improvement. Well, that was a fast turn, I suppose. Ship graveyard, battle with the stupid space pirates. I think less of the ship graveyards would have been nice. Instigator, nice. And a minor amount of money. Ship graveyard, up to it. Idle ship. Uh, command, guard. Idle colony. Seems like the better option. Idle ship. Yeah, we'll just send this guy down here. It's close by, too, which makes it doubly awesome. Idle ship. Space junk. Alright, you can do that one. That instigator has no weapons, so that would make for a very poor encounter space pirate ship. Okay, that's that resource that I want. Should I snag it? I don't know, it's kind of close to Terran territory. Maybe I shouldn't snag it? That star base is good. What about that star base? That star base is not so good. Ah, actually, here's a better option. Yeah, this is actually a much better option. I'm going to put a star base here. I don't think, though, there's any way I can get it so that I hit the uh, that also. That's a little disappointing. Upgrade Starbase. Orbital Replicators. 
It'll ship. Space Pirates. Quick battle. The quick battle is not all that quick. Just for the record. Alright, get back to there, I guess. Idle ship. Look, a ship graveyard. A forger, nice. Oh, look, ship graveyard. I do like it when they give me things that aren't warships, just for the record. Disappointing there. Whatever. Space junk. Minor amount of money. Idle colony. What's going on in this colony? Good question. What is going on in this colony? Research and manufacturing, manufacturing and research. Yeah, what a weird planet that one was. It'll ship. I kind of don't need an approval relic, to be honest. I think we could probably just send it to this one. There we are. Another warship. Turn. For a second there, I was like, how did I do that, but quick battle, don't care. I remembered I ran into that wormhole that sent me over yonder. Alright. Question is, do I want him down here, or do I want him to explore for planets? And I think the question answer is, I want him to explore for planets. Although we totally could have picked that one. Space junk. Minor amount of money. Ship graveyard. Idle colony. Research. Wait, did that literally make no difference? I don't think that made any difference. My research is uh, 3.1. So economic stimulus made a difference. Okay, whatever. Made a very minor difference, I suppose. Very minor. Uh, what am I doing on this planet? Well, I'm terraforming it for now, I suppose. Uh... What's that do? Approval? Maybe I'll do um, economic stuff. Do I have a... Um, I don't have a preparedness center on this planet. Why don't I have a preparedness center? What's up with that? Ancient studies center. Planet colonized. The colonists on this planet have taken to breeding and racing a local species of squat four-legged animals. The harsh gravity of the world makes the races particularly grueling, however. And footage of injured animals have caused animal rights activists around the galaxy to demand this barbaric practice be stopped. But it's become a big part of the local culture, and the colonists won't be happy if we end the races. What are your orders? We must, of course, stop anything which even suggests cruelty to other forms of life. Put a stop to the races at once. We can surely find some ways to minimize the risk of the sport, enough to stop from canceling it outright. Padded tracks and moments of silence and the like. The people of this planet might be onto something. Let's export footage of the racing across the civilization so everyone can enjoy the excitement. You might even provide a boost to the local tourism. I'm gonna go with this one. Factory. Bye. 
factory, factory. Doo doo. Are those my ships? Oh, nice. <laughs> the X's Empire would like to mark our friendship with the gift of knowledge of missile weapons. Thanks for the gift. Nice people. I like those guys. I'm thinking I should build myself another seer. And then I'll send out an occupier. Idle ship. Whoops. No, I meant yes. I'm used to the quick battle thing being to the left, so I just went straight to the left. Yay, sensor range increase. That's sort of cool, I guess. Earthlike. Yeah, gauge the stupid space pirates. What else is new? Dagger. Then we'll hit these ones up here. Idle ship. Constructor. Hmm. That would give me a very nice supply of that one material that I also don't really need in large quantities. I feel like I have a pretty hefty lack of understanding of what's up in this upper areas at this point. It's concerning me a little bit. I'm gonna build a mining star base right around here. I think I'm already sending a co uh, constructor over there, actually. Oh well. Oh well. Turn. IRS Cloud. No relation to the guy from Final Fantasy would be my guess. Dagger. Instigator. Alright, let's send him down there since I know those things don't have uh, weapons. Ugh. Nice and slow. Treasury. Idle colony. Terraform the planet. We should have uh, not put that one there, I think, but whatever. Raw production plus two, I don't know what that means. Durantium cost? Yeah, I don't really know what that means. Hmm. Whatever. Probably means something good would be my guess, so let's just roll with that. Alright. Send this guy to rendezvous with the fleet. Turn 10. Engage. Quick battle. I do appreciate that the pirates can't get through my shields, so they're like non-entities at this point. Gauge, quick battle. Ooh, two moved all the ships in my fleet. That's kind of awesome. Ship graveyard. <laughs> Our ability to manipulate the biosphere has improved to the point that we can treat entire continents as canvases. Will we paint a portrait of a thriving, prosperous civilization or the equivalent of writing our names in the snow and urine? That one. That one. Ion optimization, high output drives. 
drive system cost, drive miniaturization. Let me know with that one. Shipyard, idle. Uh, occupier, forger, forger. Idle ship. This is a uh, seer. Looks like I have some uh, actual planetary options down here. Two J's in a row. Followed by an N. No. Gibberish words, people. Gibberish words. Ship graveyard. Quick battle. Sensor range increase. Which isn't bad, to be fair. Where? What's a mining starbase and what's that? An economic starbase. Alright. Mining headquarters. We'll hit that one. It'll ship. Get up there. Turn. Five more turns to go. 66% of the way through. I think probably starting at the next video, I'm going to make the turns uh, 10. Because this one's quite long at this point. Upgrade Starbase, Mining Barracks. Can I rename that? No, I can't rename that. That's a little annoying. I kind of wanted to rename that. Look, Pirates! <laughs> nice! This is like the lightning ship now. Look how fast it goes! Desert plant. Idle ship. Eh. Eh. Should I engage them? Yeah, let's engage them. Ugh. Especially since they have two fleets in a row. Idle ship. Space junk. Can't hit the graveyard. Get down there to that. Metal Colony. Habitat Improvements. Right here. Upgrade Starbase. Why can't I do Interstellar Collectors? Interesting. Well, I want the Ancient Studies thing anyway. my ships just moving slowly through my territory. Uh-oh. I don't know. Let's, let's watch this battle, because this battle might end in defeat. They are all the same types of ships, yeah. So the question is, can they get through my shields? Can they get through my shields? The answer is yes, they got through my shields. Looks like they disabled my shields. And are now, uh, damaging me, it looks like. But I popped one of them first. I don't think I'm gonna survive, though. I'm at 13. I'm at nine. That looks like I'm not firing. I severely damaged one of them, though. Well, that's annoying. Done. Upgrade Starbase, Mining Headquarters. 
Shipyards. Uh, let's go with a... Yulvin Knife. Don't know what that even is. I'm thinking maybe I should uh, upgrade my one my Sears at some point. In fact, let's... Let's not do that. Change of plans. Change of plans. Let's, let's build an occupier. Idle ship. Alright. Have him head back there and explore that. Space junk. Idle ship. Just go up there, I guess, and see everything. Idle colony. That one. And then we're gonna build a shipyard here. Idle ship. Another Seer class vessel. Let's uh head and send him up there. Alright, idle ship. Colony vessel. Where can I send a colony that I could use one? Um there requires atmospheric cleansing. I thought I did atmospheric cleansing. Is there any way I can see what I already have? Tech tree. There we go. Um, extreme colonization? Leads to atmospheric cleansing. Alright, I haven't gotten it yet. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, then maybe I should grab Emma down here. Or grab that one. Got actually Kayo quite a few options. Let's grab. Uh... Wait, what happened to Emma? Where was Emma? Wait, what? I swear I hovered over a planet that was called Emma. Titan? Firefly? Alright, whatever. I'm losing my mind. It's cool. It's cool. I don't need that for anything. Wait a second. Idle ship. You go over there. Kind of scout things out. Ideology points. Nice. Got another pragmatic point. Anyone at war with us receives a penalty to approval. No, I don't think that's great. All constructor mo- Oh, that one. That one. That one so much. Minor amount of money. A little disappointing. Idle colony, what's that? Population? So, Xeno farm, planetary soil upgrades. I guess here. Soil engineering will go, I don't know, here. Habitat improvement. We'll go... <laughs> I don't even know. Here. Terraform planet, we'll go here. Return. Your colonists report a variety of strange disturbances. Doors which open and close on their own. Strange lights in, in the night. A mysterious hole in the ground which screams. That one sounds slightly concerning. Your scientists seem to think the colony might be haunted. Building on the ruins of a previously failed colony may have been a bad idea, they say. Also, underneath that colony was another failed colony, which was built on a graveyard. What are your orders? <laughs> Begin moving the colony somewhere less haunted. This will cost a lot and hamper production for years to come, but what else can be done? Ghost don't exist. Fix the doors, fix the lights, and put some boards over the hole that screams. Tell everybody to get back to work. Let's at least use the ghosts for something. Use them to train our soldiers in the art of managing fear. Or just lock disobedient workers in a room with them to scare them into working hard. 
Defense bonus manufacturing, but minus approval. I'm gonna go with the one that gives me no negatives and a positive. Why would anybody have accepted anything else there? Basic factory, basic factory, buy. Ugh. All right. I guess we'll keep the factories up there. Put that there, I suppose. <sighs> Idle ship. Seer class vessel. All right. Bummer. It's kind of hoping I would get a planet there that was optional. That was an option, I meant, not that was optional. Oh, come on. I can't get the that one and that well, I guess I don't really need the Durantium or whatever it's called. Now let's just hope that the pirates don't want to take a pot shot at me. Command, construct starbase. Idle colony. We'll go... Market center. Do I not have a, like, put this in between all of your market centers things to make more money option? Oh, whatever. Thinking though, let's build, hold on. Where's the thing that, uh, the hospital, yeah. I want to boost a growth. Then we'll come back and check that, find it out later. Mining ring. Mining barracks. There we go. What are the weapons on that? All right, the weapons are pretty solid on that. Pretty solid weapons, so I don't need to be too concerned about that. The Terran Alliance comes to you with an opportunity. The Iconian Refuge is dangerous, and we would appreciate aid in getting rid of them. Declare war on them, and we will give you the knowledge of diplomacy to aid in your fight. Uh, sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> also, diplomacy doesn't actually sound awesome in the first place. Mining headquarters. Why can't I get star race defense systems? What? I thought I took this thing that gives me... Whatever. Pretty sure I did that. Don't know, though. Alright. Go up there, I suppose? Do-do. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Oh, uh, hey, that starbase let me move my ship further this way. Good to know. Alright, folks, that was the last turn, so I'm going to end here. Um, for now, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Facebook and Patreon. They're both linked at the bottom of the video in the description, and I'm going to, in the next couple of days, set up a Twitter. So, for now, though, I'll see you guys later.